Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Ordinary Old, titled 17 year old and her mother get cold feet at the last minute. I'm shaking, I'm so mad right now. This girl made an offer on a car I'm selling, convinced me to take Cash App and deliver the car to her, then pulls this after I'm almost to her house. Paperwork I told her I had with me beforehand. Title, Release of Lien, Bill of Sale, and Odometer Statement. She never told me she was 17 in over a month of communication. You won't go any lower on the price? Cause my mom is saying that is too much money. Cause that you need to meet us at a tax office to get everything right to make everything legal. Oh my god, why didn't you ask all these questions before today? I don't even want to sell it to you anymore, so forget it. Okay, how many keys does it have? I'm literally 10 minutes from your house. We drove an hour in the pouring rain with two cars. I work for the tax office. All you need is the title. This is insane. Well, you do know that it's illegal to sell a minor a car with no notarization from a tax office, right? We've been through this process. You have to do it in the county you live in. <laughs> I'm 17 and no. How would I have known you were a minor? You wouldn't have, but you should have asked when you filled out the paperwork. Or, you know, if you're trying to play the it's illegal to sell a card to a minor without all the paperwork, etc. card, then you should at least have had the common sense to tell them that you were a minor from the start. This next one is by Snurmadar, titled, Removing Plastic Drops $200 Off. Seems legit. Hello, is Nintendo Switch Bundle brand new $300 still for sale? Yes, it's still for sale. Are you interested? Yes, but $300 is a little too much. I was thinking more like $100 cash. Um, no. It's brand new sealed. It comes with two games, which are also sealed. You can buy a Switch with no games at the store for more than this price, not even including taxes. All I have is 100 Take it or leave it. I already said no. It's brand new sealed. Okay, what if you remove the plastic from it and sell it to me for $100 since it won't be new anymore? The common sense in this beggar is not too bright. Even if you remove the plastic, it's still brand new because it hasn't been used and everything is still probably wrapped up. At most, you're looking at like a $50 deduction because plastic isn't on it. This next one is from Wolf Cry, titled, I'll Pay What and When I Want. Looking for a reliable babysitter who won't be picky about pay. Let me just ask you, beggar. I'm gonna flip this around. Are you gonna be picky about the kind of care the babysitter would provide your child? If so, then you might not want to be picky about how much you pay. This next one is by I Like Jalapeno Cheetos, titled An Expensive Car in Exchange for a Shoutout. Seems fair. Is there anyone in Beggar's area who owns supercars that would let me borrow, rent it for a day in exchange for a shoutout or business promo? Well, at least we know this Beggar doesn't understand the value of supercars considering every added mile massively devalues it. This next one is from West Coast CDN19 titled, This is not a babysitting job. People who quit their jobs on the first day what was your, I'm outta here moment? I answered an ad for a babysitting job. I was already working on a casual basis, but it was sporadic, so I thought some after hours babysitting would be welcome extra cash. The couple were both in the military and proceeded to tell me that I would be staying in the spare room and looking after their six month old child around the clock, as well as doing the housework. I would have one day off every two weeks. They said it is cash in hand, so I could sign on to the dole, unemployment benefit, to make up the rest of the money. I left on the spot. They wanted a live-in housemaid and nanny, not a babysitter, and they were not able to pay for one. Why they thought it was up to me to illegally collect the dole to subsidize them, I don't know. The fact that they had the audacity to try to pull that is just 
unbelievable, but at the same time, 100% believable, especially considering they were choosing beggars. This next one is by Deleted, titled Pay Us to Watch Our Cat for Five Months for Us. Seeking temporary home for friendly cat, small adoption fee, very sweet five-year-old indoor cat. She is litter box trained, quiet, and cuddly. She needs about a five-month stay while her humans finish up their studies on the mainland. If you have any questions, feel free to send a message with number and we will get back to you promptly. In what world, outside of the beggars, do they really think that somebody would pay them to watch their animal? That ain't happening in this real world. This next one is from Large Sack of Nuts, titled, Oh yes, I just became a medical doctor. Now I want to go intern for $7.25 an hour. Healthcare analyst intern, job details, salary, $7.25 to $12 an hour. Perks, MSQ Ventures provide an intensive, unpaid 3-4 to four month internship providing a unique opportunity to experience in a fast-paced environment, healthcare research, investment banking, venture capital, private equity, management consultancy, experience of event organizing, industry conference, forum, roadshow, Build up your knowledge of the healthcare industry and connection with the broader healthcare community leaders. Class credit. If your school approves participation. Very positive references, if merited. Opportunity for a full-time position. Requirements. Advanced degree in healthcare, life science, or related field. PhD, MD preferred. Strong analytical skills and strong industry research background in healthcare highly desired. Good Chinese communication skills highly desired. Excellent attention to detail with a proactive and practical approach. Must have a passion for financial healthcare industry. Must have superior skills in communication. Must have full proficiency in Microsoft Office software. I feel like it's companies like this that make people not want to look into being in the healthcare industry for the future just based on the fact that you spend all of that time and money to go to school to get a highly, highly respected degree only to be told you're going to get paid probably around minimum wage to start. This next one is by Dopio Within Me titled Beggar Harasses Very Talented Cosplay Prop Maker from this morning. Not gonna lie, it tainted my Sunday. Hi, why do you not give out your 3D files for us to print with our own printers? It's fucking selfish, dude. You should send the files to me on Thingsverse, so I don't have to spend $400 on your stupid shit. Don't be a jackass, greedy bastard. Let us make the stuff you make too. Hi, beggar. I'm sorry you feel that way, but this is my full-time job. I spend a lot of time making the models and the prints. I supply a quality service to the members of the Siege community, and they are more than happy to support me. Your stuff sucks, dude. You better let us make them, or I will find your place and you will regret. Well, Beggar, considering you don't clearly have the resources to pay for the files, how do you even manage to come up with the resources to find where they live and make them regret? This next one is from Wild West 21 titled, How dare you not give me your free item? You're racist. Free trampoline. How the hell is it that when I texted you, you posted it an hour ago and you didn't text back or anything? Y'all people on here really be getting me. Are you one of those types that don't like black people? Like this is a bunch of bullshit. You could have texted me and said that you didn't want me to have it. 100, 100. Who the fuck are you to be talking to me like that? And first off, dumbass, it was a black family that messaged me almost instantly after I posted it and then later came to pick it up. But keep on with your racist bullshit. You don't know me. It was a free item I was giving away out of the goodness of my heart. But I wouldn't have sold you that thing for no amount of money with your shitty entitled attitude, clown. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> the way they came back to this beggar was absolutely beautiful, and the fact that the beggar was trying to say that the person giving the trampoline away was racist, apparently the beggar doesn't understand the definition of racism. 
And our final one is from I Am Dean, titled It's My Wedding. I asked you to be a bridesmaid. You accepted, so just wear the damn dress I picked out. Let me explain so I don't sound like a bridezilla. I don't have many girlfriends. I really only have two. So naturally, I asked one to be my maid of honor and one to be a bridesmaid. But I needed a third, so I asked my soon-to-be husband's little sister. She's 19. My husband informed me that she wanted to be a bridesmaid and was hoping I would ask her. She happily agrees. My mom took over the wedding plans and I didn't care. All I asked was that I pick out the bridesmaid dresses. Granted, my mom also consulted me on everything, but ultimately, the dresses were 100% my choice. The little sister is my husband's half-sister, his stepmom and dad's daughter. So I send her the link for the dress and advise her to get her measurements taken, because there is a custom option for the dress. It will be cheaper to order it already tailored than make minor adjustments as needed, instead of ordering a basic size then going to get it tailored. Her and my stepmother-in-law did not take my advice. Instead, they ordered two dresses, found the size that fit her, then went to get it tailored. My other bridesmaids took my advice and only spent $150. Their whole endeavor cost them $600. They asked me to go to the final fitting. They took this as an opportunity to tell me how A. I should have been more considerate with the cost of the dress. They have spent $600. The dress was only $120 and $30 for shipping. They agreed upon the original cost. Not my fault you didn't take my advice. B. I should have picked a company with a better return policy because they were having issues returning the dress that didn't fit. And C. The dress has sleeves and by me not allowing her to cut off the sleeves, I'm selfish. Sorry, but you wanted to be a bridesmaid. That means you wear the dress the bride picks. If you don't like it, tough shit. Don't bitch about it to me. The thing is, I don't see a bridezilla at all. I see someone that wants to have the wedding that they plan to have because it's their wedding. I look at it like if the person does not want to wear the dress or if they have issues, then they don't need to be a part of the wedding. Unfortunately, it seemed like the little sister in this case just cared about being in the wedding rather than the fact that it wasn't her wedding to plan. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.